Welcome to another episode of the 8-Bit Basement. Tonight we are going to discuss tools. Is the camera only on me right now? Yeah, we're discussing no, tools. No. Tools we use. Right. To mod things and clean them. Right. We're going to discuss tools that we use for repairs, mods, and everything else that we do on this channel. Not any other kind of tools. I don't like this tone. So we'll go through everything we use when we'll, uh, we'll discuss some more advanced tools, some basic tools that you'll need if you're just getting started. And uh, if we've left anything out that you like to use, please drop us a comment. Let us know what we've, what we've missed. And as always, please, please, please like and subscribe and enjoy the video. For the record, I strongly disagree with Matt's initial assessment. All right, let's get into it. These are screwdrivers, multiple tips here. Just the tip. You need them. Next, we have game bits. These open up all kinds of cartridges. Sega, Nintendo, Super Nintendo. Not everyone, but many, many games will be opened by these. These are essential. Check out this lineup. First, 99% isopropyl alcohol. Next, contact cleaner, followed by Brasso, our absolutely favorite chemical, and then Goo Gone. Be careful with that Goo Gone. Watch out for those hieroglyphics there. I don't know what that means. This is OJ's glove, brush, and his magic eraser. Get rid of all blood, I mean, get rid of all regular stains. Here's window cleaner, and same as Windex. It can clean all types of stuff. All right, my favorite tool, the fiberglass pen awesome for cleaning cartridges. Here I am cleaning one with one hand. If these can be cleaned with one hand, imagine what two hands can do. Think about that. Think about it. In all honesty, these are the best tool for cleaning contacts, in my opinion. Look how clean those are. Look how much dirt that picks up. So definitely pick yourself up some fiberglass pens. Next up, dental picks. We got some plastic pry bars, some metal pry bars here. Great for if you get a cavity, you gotta yank that sucker out. Also great if you gotta bend the contacts on a 72 pin connector. We use a dental pick to do that. Definitely wanna have these in your arsenal. You also wanna have a set of tweezers. I don't know why Matt has five different kinds of tweezers when four of those kinds look exactly the same to me. But anyway, great tool to have in case you gotta pick something up. Make sure you have yourself at least one set, just not eight. Razor blades, enough said, they, they cut things open. Definitely have some of those on hand. Also, Matt's favorite tool here, the flush cutters. Great for popping open a piece of candy and then immediately stealing it from me, so thanks, Matt. Plastic razors, clutch for removing those terrible stickers, or if you want to, a game label. Compressed air, I do apologize to Mega Man, sorry, buddy but great for blowing stuff out. Cap Tom tape for when you're taping over electronics, you get into soldering a little bit. And of course a multimeter, one of the most useful tools you can have, which obviously measures voltage. Moving on to advanced tools, again, not describing myself here. Flux, solder, and wick, obviously as you get in the soldering, those three are absolutely crucial. And of course what's going to be next most crucial is a soldering iron. This one's pretty cool, it regulates temperature, and you can just use a dial to change that. Just keep in mind that soldering is one of those skills that the more you do it, the better you'll likely get, and it's, it's difficult to master. With soldering comes the threat and the realization that there will be fumes once you start doing this. So what you need, my friend, is a fume extractor. This is pretty cool, it just kind of whisks the uh, fumes away as you see right there. Or any other terrible smells that you may smell, such as yourself while you're doing this. Another advanced tool is the hot air station. This one is also temperature controlled. You can just change the temp by using a dial. And 
Great for moving surface mounted components such as chips or capacitors as Matt is seen doing here. He's using one of his 18 pairs of tweezers to help him move the component with the hot air station which works great. One of the coolest advanced tools you could get yourself is a scope. And this scope, made by Tom Law, provides close-ups and just a blown up uh, view of very small boards or components, awesome for working on smaller things. Another one of our favorite advanced tools are helping hands, great for providing support for anything you're working on. Last but certainly not least in the advanced tool section is a de-yellowing or retro brighting device. This one's a de-yellowing system, we made a video about it here, check it out and we know you're going to love it.